This is the right hand X support plus the X belt idler pulley. So take the other X support block and the contents of bag number four. There's a single long M4 screw, 30 millimeters long. Take it, put on one steel washer, then pass it through the middle of the idler support plate. Then put on the thicker of the two plastic spacers. There's one that's two millimeters thick and there's one that's four millimeters thick. Put on the four millimeter thick one first. Then another steel washer. Now we put on one of the idler bearings. Notice these are flanged and for this one you want the flange towards the head of the screw. That will be towards the top when it's fully assembled. Put on the idler, the other idler bearing, the opposite way around. So these two flanges will keep the belt from drifting off the idler. Put on the other steel screw, steel washer, sorry, and the thinner spacer. That's now all assembled. Screw this to the centre hole of the X support block and just enter the screw by hand for now. Then take the two M3 screws and fasten the support plate to the block with them. Again, just finger tight for now. Use the PosiDrive number 2 screwdriver to tighten the central screw and the PosiDrive number 1 to tighten the outside. With the 2mm Allen key, insert the two grub screws part way again. Just like on the other end, these will be used to clamp the X support rails once the whole unit is assembled. And now, using the two remaining countersunk screws, attach this to the other end of the base. And tighten with the PosiDrive number 2 screwdriver. So on the acrylic base we now have the iBot board, the left X rail support and the stepper motor and the right X rail support plus the X belt idler pulley. Set aside the entire base assembly for now.